Hey everybody, this is Daniel with My XO Adventures, and I am here in uh, Mill Creek Canyon, and I am uh, in a little alcove along Mill Creek. Um, it's a special place because as you go along, the Mill Creek runs through this canyon, and um, along the way, there are lots of different petroglyphs. And if you look right behind me, you can see that there are handprints all over the wall and behind me. Um, if you get closer to them, you can notice that uh, those handprints are very small. Um, I haven't touched them, but if you put your hand up to them, you can tell that they're from children. And I'm in an alcove right here that is uh, a place that was used for habitation, um, for, for safety. Uh, and you can see right in the back of this alcove, there's a place over there where the fire, um, people still do use it, but that soot that's on the ceiling right there has been made over hundreds and hundreds of years. And there are a few different areas in here that have some petroglyphs um, that have either been vandalized or just flaked off over time. This right here was, looks like maybe it was a human shape. There's a hand right there and this is flaked off, uh, but there, and maybe another one right here, another human um, that has been flaked off. Some over here and then some graffiti um, that unfortunately some people think are, is fun to do, but uh, really totally a shame against human uh, history and uh, culture over time, but uh, that happens everywhere across the world. But um, if you look out behind me, you can see that, not my face, but you can see that I'm in this protected spot to the left and to the right. You cannot see this particular alcove. So it was a great spot to be because you could see people approaching, but they could not see you. And um, it's just a, a beautiful spot. Some of these trees that are behind me are um, just down over here, this one, yeah, there is a juniper and there are pinions and sage and um, uh, Mormon tea, uh, which is a really interesting plant, antibiotic and antihistamine. And these trees right here are hundreds of years old and they're that old because uh, the water is scarce out here. Sunlight's plenty, but actually the ground itself cannot sustain large trees out here. So it takes them that long to grow and, uh, and, and to to get to that age. Even this one right down below here, see it's fallen over, but it still has life on it and it's still growing. And that one's probably based on what the guys have told me out here about five, 600 years old, maybe a little bit longer. Um, so anyways, I'm out here with Cody, who's way, way over there, up there somewhere. And um, I'm staying in Moab at a great little place. We cook together, um, we hike together. We've taken the van, uh, Vanna White out to this particular creek and we're just having a good time exploring out here in Moab. Um, it's a wonderful place to come and I hope that you decide to join me here in Utah or Wyoming or South Dakota on one of my XO Adventures private tours and you can uh, do that by going to www.myxoadventures.com and uh, there's a tab that says USA trips and private charters and tours. So take a look at that. I can make it as long or as short as you'd like, and I can meet you in any one of the, any one of those states and plan out your itinerary for you. Um, just a reminder: this is what real life is like out here, not what's going on on the TV, not what you're reading in the paper, and uh, and this is a great way to connect, and it does provide healing and um, centering, grounding, and it reminds you of the, how beautiful the world really is in your own backyard. So stay safe, uh, get out safely, have a good time, come out and see my XO adventures on one of the private tours or group trips that we have on the website and uh, be kind to one another. Checking out now, see you all later, peace.